Plenty of people have figured out that this is a nice place to hide from the JTF, under the streets. And if you found this, you're smarter than most of the people roaming around down here. Maybe you know about the bomb that went off. Terrible tragedy, wasn't it? And you probably want to know who did it and why. You might even be the division. Well, that's why I made this to give you a little something to think about. Plenty of people have figured out that this is a nice place to hide from the JTF, under the streets. And if you found this, you're smarter than most of the people roaming around down here. Maybe you know about the bomb that went off. Terrible tragedy, wasn't it? And you probably want to know who did it and why. He might even be the division. Well, that's why I made this. To give you a little something to think about. You ready to listen, Agent? Okay. Well, let's go back to the beginning. I was recruited into the division when I withdrew my application to the CIA to start my own personal training business instead. They came after me, you understand? I didn't go begging for this. I didn't have any secret agent fantasies like some of those assholes. They understood I was interested in working for my country, and they saw that I had the chops right from the get-go. Never thought I'd be called up, but I used to be an optimist. Used to be. You ready to listen, agent? I was activated when this thing hit. When they began to understand just how many people would die. How many first responders would be abandoning their posts? How many would be dead? How many people would take advantage of that? I went in in good faith. I took on the bad guys. And you know what that means, don't you? I became a killer. I went in to save the people, to help this city. And I have, maybe, but do you know how many people I've shot on the way? <laughs> yeah, you do. Because you are doing the same thing. I lost count a long time ago. So, you get to this point and you wonder, who's worse, them or us? <laughs> Turns out we've got a lot in common with the people we're shooting at. They're killing people and looting. If I'm honest, I'm doing the same thing. If the only thing that separates us from them is this little red ring, what sense does it make? It got me thinking about whose side I was really on, and how I could shape this new world we're all living in. It also told me which lives matter now. <laughs> Not mine, that much is clear. Unless I'm the one looking out for it. So, you get to the- If you think things are going back to the way they were, then you're an even bigger fool than you were when you signed up for the Division. It's survival of the fittest now. And that's us. Me and Keener and any Division agents who have the capacity to be honest with themselves. It's time to drop the bullshit and admit we are our own best chance. Democracy is dead. The rules are ours to make now, and one of my rules is... No more hypocrisy. You know how the JTF and the Div backed out of the Dark Zone, leaving all those people to die? Yeah, I get it. Maybe they would have died anyway. You have to pick your battles. But let's just see how the JTF feels when their little quarantine zone gets zapped for a change. Got some Rikers plenty eager to trade guns in exchange for that little favor. Wow. Maybe I'll see you out there, Agent. Looking forward. Over and out.